They say that life without fame can be a good life, but fame without a life is no life at all. It's time once again to sit back and relax with your favorite drink and listen. God, you're such a fool, Jason. Grow up. Putting her hair into a tight bun, my girlfriend pushed my hands away from her breasts. Her tone was dry as usual. It was why I loved her. If I'm such a fool, what does that make you? I winked playfully, nudging her shoulder. <laughs> fool fucker, she responded, without missing a beat, causing us to burst into uncontrollable laughter. Jumping from the bed, I walked towards our living room, scratching myself. Grabbing for the remote, I turned on the television, flipping to the local news. Local actress Mariah Sanders has snagged the role of a lifetime, having been cast as the leading lady in Martin Scorsese's newly announced film. A grinning headshot of my girlfriend peered back at me from the TV. I stood there, speechless, wondering what the hell was going on. Oh, my girlfriend was many things, but an actress was not one of them. We'd been dating on and off for almost four years, and I knew her anxiety would never allow her to perform in front of the camera. She was a delicate flower, and I did my best to protect her. Um, Mariah, I need you to come here for a second. We stood together in the living room, rewinding the news story over and over again. A quick Google search confirmed it wasn't an isolated thing. It was everywhere. Her face was plastered on TMZ, People, and every other gossip rag you can imagine. This has to be a mistake. I don't know how, but this has to be a mistake. Mariah was trembling, clearly overwhelmed with the moment. Her phone had been ringing off the hook, but she hadn't even glanced at it. This is so freaking weird. I don't understand what's happening. Soon, everyone's going to find out I'm a fraud. Oh, God. Choking back tears, she ran into the bedroom and shut the door behind her. I stood there scrolling through endless articles and mentions on social media. As the day wore on, things got even stranger. A Wikipedia page appeared, and soon it was filled with dozens of previous TV and movie appearances. Hundreds of photos from commercials, adverts and photo shoots began to pop up not soon after. It happened at a dizzying pace, her catalogue growing with every minute that passed. I could hear Mariah's sobs from the bedroom, I could only imagine what she was going through. It was like her life was getting rewritten by an unseen auteur, and she was powerless to stop it. Her history was being stripped from her, and we had no way of explaining it. Jason, you need to see this. Her voice quivered, barely loud enough for me to hear. Huddling around her phone screen, I watched as the news ticker flashed with a breaking headline. Deranged Chicago man kidnaps actress Mariah Sander. Now there were two famous people in our household. Reading through a CNN article, I discovered that I was being accused of kidnapping my own girlfriend from her non-existent downtown apartment. A neighbor that was interviewed described a brazen and violent daylight kidnapping and ended by saying Mariah was the sweetest person she knew. It was terrifying. Please tell me this is the world's most elaborate prank, so I can hate you for a week and then get over it. Her eyes were filled with fear. Mariah looked at me with her beautiful, pouty lips. I wanted nothing more than to lie to her, to tell her everything was going to be okay, but all I managed to do was give a sullen shake of my head. So, this is all real? Before I could respond, the door flew open from its hinges, wood splintering everywhere. A team of SWAT officers poured in, covered in Kevlar. Grabbing Mariah by the shoulder, I pulled her into the bedroom and shut the door behind us. Somberly, I looked squarely at my love and said, You need to yell that I have a gun, and I'm going to shoot you if they come in here. Until we can figure out what's happening, I need to escape, and to do that, I need time. Begrudgingly, Mariah told the police what I'd asked her. As I expected, 
They couldn't risk storming the room, so they'd stall until a negotiator arrived. Babe, this is all so confusing, but, but hey, you're famous now, so that's something. We both chuckled in between cries. I will find you, and we will figure this out, I promise. I love you forever and always. And with that, I slipped through the window and disappeared into the night. Starting over was the hardest thing I'd ever had to do. But five years later, well, I've managed to eke out an existence. And during that time, the only thing that's kept me going was Mariah. I watched her career explode from afar. She became a bigger and bigger starlet, climbing to the highest echelons of Hollywood. It was painful, but, but I was so proud of her accomplishments, despite everything that had transpired. Well, that was until an interview she gave three days ago. Dressed in a graceful white dress, she sat on a couch and spewed lies to a late-night host. Oh, your bravery and quick thinking in the face of such danger is truly incredible. You're amazing, Mariah. Simply amazing. America wants to know, how did you do it? Well, Jimmy, I simply fed into his delusions. I did what I know best. I acted. He believed I was his girlfriend, and I knew if I played the part well enough, I could eventually help direct his actions. When he jumped out of that window, I broke down. I couldn't believe it was finally over. Those words grated against my heart, leaving a permanent scar. Deep sadness was replaced by an immense rage. She'd never spoken about that night before. And I believe that was to protect me. But she was so clearly deluded by her newfound fame. She'd do anything to curry favour with the masses. As I sit here, in a barely running 94 Chevy, I watch her living her new life. New man, new dog, new house. Well, history has a habit of repeating itself no matter how hard you try and erase it. Thank you so much for choosing to spend your time listening to me. Now, if you enjoyed the Dr. Creepin experience, then come find me on Facebook. Come chat with me on Twitter. Listen to the background music and download it if you like on SoundCloud. Drop by the store, pick up a t-shirt. And, importantly, if you've got a story you'd like me to read, send it to Dr. Creepin's Vault, the subreddit I set up so that I could read your stories. Now, looking forward to seeing you all again real soon. So, come check me out, okay? <laughs>